Amber Heard and her friends used Johnny Depp for his money. They milked every single cent from him and used it for their own benefit. The actress has been actively accusing her ex-husband for physical and emotional abuse, even though the jury during the Fairfax trial already proved that she was guilty of defaming him with malicious intent. She has the audacity to say that Johnny was abusive to her and controlled her when in reality, she was the one who controlled him. He isolated him from his own family and friends, and then surrounded him with only her friends. After the two celebrities got married, Amber's family and friends moved into Johnny's penthouses because he offered it to them. Whether he did this out of kindness or fear of his ex-wife, that we'll never know. Whitney Heard, Rocky Pennington, Josh Drew lived there permanently and a few of Amber's friends stayed there from time to time. Johnny owned five penthouses on the top floor of the Eastern Columbia building on Broadway between 2013 and 2016 and all of Amber's friends occupied them, except one penthouse which was given to Isaac Baruch, Johnny's longtime friend. Of course, Johnny's friends quickly took notice of this. Gina Duters, one of the closest friends of the actor and the wife of Johnny's business partner and assistant Stephen Duters, summed it up accurately when she said that after the wedding, Amber instantly started moving her friends into his properties. Gina and Johnny's other friends were shocked at how she eventually isolated him from his family and friends. To them, it definitely felt like they lost him already. I guess you can call these people a bunch of freeloaders as they apparently lived rent-free in the penthouses. One Johnny Depp supporter pointed out here we have Amber Heard's little clan of flying monkeys. She claimed Johnny isolated her, yet she had her friends living with them in his penthouses rent-free and called the cops on him when they knew their free ride was over. Another pointed out that, friends of Amber Heard testify, Johnny Depp was an alcoholic and bad drug user, while these same witnesses consumed and participated in using these same liquors and drugs, paid for and provided free by JD. Included, paid bonus of living rent-free for penthouses paid by JD. Imagine, they would watch Johnny's every single move and when they knew it was over for them, they called the cops on him and faked a scene where Amber was reportedly abused. Can we just, yeah, we'll yeah. just come in and just check? We just okay. need to make sure everybody in here is okay and then we... I don't know if she called twice or, or whoever called, but we just got another notification. That's not the worst part. You know, Amber used to bring all the other lovers she had to the penthouse, which her then-husband owned and cheated on him with them. James Franco, Elon Musk, you name it. They were all caught on CCTVs entering the penthouse with Amber. Remember that one time when Amber hired a private investigator to catch Johnny abusing other women? Yeah, we'll never forget that because instead of looking for women Johnny abused, he found out something worse. He realized that everyone was stepping on the actor and using him to their own benefit, just like Amber Heard's friends. Wow, Amber wanted to know every move Johnny made to the point that she surrounded him with people she knew would vouch for her one day. How desperate can she get? That's all for now. Thanks for watching.